Hi YouTube, I'm back today to talk to you about a new app in the Google Play Store called iLauncher. As you can see to the right, I have a Samsung Galaxy S4 Active. This is the waterproof version of the Galaxy S4. And the icons on the screen, interestingly enough, match that of the iPhone 5, which is to the left of me. Uh, this is unique because... Of course, Android and iOS are two different operating systems, and so it's very unusual to see the icons on an Android matching anything on iOS 7, uh, or iOS for that matter. But it's true. Uh, this is a new app called iLauncher, and what it does is make sure Android experience look more iOSified, if I can say that without uh, getting beat up. Uh, as you can see at the top, you have your S Planner or your calendar. It matches the calendar on the iPhone 5. Uh, if you look at your messaging on the second row to the left. It matches the Messages app on the iPhone 5, which is at the top. The clock does the same, uh, as well as your maps look similar. Look at the Play Store on the Galaxy S4. It has the symbol that you find on the App Store icon in the iOS 7 experience. YouTube matches, of course, Google's optimized the app on both of these uh, operating systems. Uh, your music looks the same. Uh, you may not be able to see this, but you can see the music icon on the iPhone 5. Well, let's go over here to the Samsung. If you go over here, press the music. I've saved a folder. It even zooms in, like the iOS 7 experience, and there you have it. There's your play music. When you're done, just go ahead and zoom out. I'm trying to do this without taking the camera away from the screen. Um, so there you have it. You have your Chrome at the bottom and your phone. Uh, the same down here. If I can push this up, you'll be able to see it a little better. There we go. So your phone and your Chrome match. Your mail matches as well, uh, although it's not here on the screen. But this is what it should look like uh, if you get iLauncher on your Android device. Now, as I said, I have a Galaxy S4 Active. You may have something a little different, but it should do just about the same thing on yours. Uh, one interesting note about the iPhone experience and how iLauncher brings this to you. If you look at the clock, we're going to zoom in on the clock here uh, in iOS 7. Uh, the clock should match the time. So if you look at the hand on the 2 and the 1, uh, it says here 2.05. It just turned 2.05. The clock on the iPhone actually matches that. And if you go over here to the Galaxy S4, you'll notice it's 2.05 a.m. And lo and behold, the clock hands match the actual time. Uh, that's one little neat thing that iOS 7 brought to the iPhone that I'm very glad to see is on the Android experience. Uh, but yeah, I want you to go download this. It's $2.06 at the Play Store. Download it, play around with it, um, match your apps. I want to say also, too, that this Android wallpaper I have on the Galaxy S4 Active, this autumn wallpaper, looks really cool with these icons. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it did really well. Uh, you can download a live wallpaper behind this. It's still going to look gorgeous. But I think iLauncher is great. I like the folder zooming. Uh, as I said before, you can go into any folder, click on it, it'll zoom in. Click to zoom out. And that's with any of these that I have down here. It's my Google Video stuff. And you can zoom out. These are all my S apps from Samsung. And then you can zoom out. It's going to do the same thing. Uh, but you should definitely go download this at the Play Store. Uh, this is a nice one. And I'm going to stick with this iLauncher app on my phone for a while. This iLauncher. And see whether or not I really like it. Uh, enough to stick with it. I think there are things about Samsung's TouchWiz that I like, and there are things that I don't. So I'm going to play around with this, but i got to tell you, once you see this on your Android device, which has probably got a rather decently sized screen, 4.5 inch or higher, uh, at least 4.3, you're going to look at the iPhone as, as very tiny compared to it. That's one of the obvious things, the impressions I have after trying this out for about an hour is that my iPhone screen looks really tiny. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the 
comment section below. Take care, and I will be back to give you more tips. Bye-bye.